from CareCo TV, one of the longest running outdoor programs on television today. Exploring the country and the coast in search of adventures. From the mountains of the great Northwest to the shores of the Atlantic Ocean, this is Americana Outdoors, presented by Garmin. This week on Americana Outdoors, it's all about handgun hunting. We join a variety of folks as they share their experiences in hunting with a handgun. Let's begin with our special guest from Smith & Wesson Performance Center, Tony Milley. We invite Tony to go rattling for whitetail at a deer camp down in Brackettville, Texas. So last year was the first time I actually did a rattling and try to take a whitetail with a handgun while doing that. It was really exciting. And Wade brought in a bunch of different animals at different times. Uh, but it's fast and furious, you know, you don't have a lot of time to make a decision whether it's the right animal to shoot or not. Wayne hits the antlers and next thing you know, you got a deer stand in front of you, you know. Uh, they're blowing at you, they're taking off. It's, it's really cool. You know, I hunt with all different kinds of handguns, 460s, 500s. I'm using a Performance Center 44 Hunter. Uh, that's, that's probably my favorite gun, especially for whitetails. You don't need anything really larger. I mean, you can hunt with a 460 or 500. So it's really my go-to gun, especially coming out here. I used the same gun last year, and if I get invited back next year, and we're gonna do some rattling, it's gonna be the same gun, I can guarantee you that. That Hunter, it's a seven and a half inch barrel. It's got a compensator on it, so, you know, less felt recoil. So you get back on an animal quicker too. So if you have, if you have to have a follow-up shot, it's just that much easier. It's got a performance center action job. So, you know, you can expect about a three and a half pound single action trigger pull and double action, you're about 10 pounds. So it's a lot lighter than our standard production guns. And that's what performance center guns are all about. And another nice feature on the, the fact that it's got an integrated rail. So, you know, it's not bolted on, it's part of the barrel. So it's rigid. You don't have to worry about it loosen up. You put your optic on it, whether a red dot or scope, and you pretty much know it's not gonna move. It's a little more drizzly in the morning and it's supposed to be windy in the afternoon. So Tony and Wade decided to go rattling in the morning before the wind picks up. Probably go fairly slow, but I feel like those bucks, all those bucks we saw will be back in here. I know that's where they all bed. We're just gonna be on that side, so. And on the way up the road, lo and behold, gets what runs by, a whole bunch of pigs. <laughs> Tag that one. Little bit of tracking, not too bad. Didn't go that far at all. Some big tusks on this one, Tony. The old 44 put the smack down on him. You look like, you know, a cowboy movie up there. <laughs> <laughs> Another pig in the freezer for the game dinner and uh, back to rattling. So, pack the pig up and down the hill we go. He says, I got an idea. He says, there's this field. He says, I'd really like to try that. He sees a lot of deer in that field. Might be a good opportunity. We get down to the bottom of the hill and wait. So let's take a little walk over here. He glasses the field, he says, yeah, there's a couple nice deer in that. He said, we ought to give it a shot down here. So we set the sticks up pretty much on a fence line. You know, he starts rattling and we get a little, a little four corn come running over. Another one jumps over the fence, takes a look at us. Nothing really big yet, but the big ones, we can see them. So he says, you know, just, we're gonna move up just a little bit more and see if we can get them to pay a little bit more attention to us. We get up there and he starts rattling again and uh, our little buddy out in the middle of the field decides he wants to come over and take a look at what's going on. His mistake. What you want to shoot? That's a good old dude. You put the smack good down on that. <laughs> good job, dude. That's a good shot, Tony. A great one to take. A great one to take with anything, but rattling with but a right handgun. Rattling with a handgun. Yeah, yeah, it's fun. That's even better. He's mm -hmm. got some damage right there. I guess he's got an impacted tooth right there. 
Well, he won't have to see the dentist. No, now. he won't have to see the dentist. He's gonna be cooked. That's kind of cool right there. That little extra time coming off his main beam. Good stuff, as always. Thank you. Enjoyable. Good job. <laughs> well, coming up, Wade Middleton goes hunting in Africa. And of course, he takes his Performance Center 460 Magnum with him. We know if you found one crappie, you may have found a thousand. We know the joy of getting your boots back in the mud. We know the journey can be more rewarding than the destination. We know the great outdoors. We love the great outdoors. Bass Pro Shops and Cabela's. Stop by today for huge savings on the gear you need and the brands you trust. Plus, free two-day shipping at BassPro.com and Cabela's.com. How do you aim a 36-yard shot with a 30-yard fixed pin at a 15-degree angle with a 7-inch holdover without moving a single pin? Easy. You get one of these. Zero. The auto-ranging digital bow sight from Garmin. Americana Outdoors presented by Garmin is brought to you by Garmin Zero, leave the guesswork behind. Bass Pro Shops and Cabela's, your adventure starts here. Thompson Center, America's master gun maker. And by Performance Center by Smith & Wesson. Performance when it matters most. Welcome back to Americana Outdoors. We're in Limpopo Province, South Africa with world-class fishing and hunting adventures and coochie safaris where Wade and friends are on a safari. Well, it's cold this morning and as part of this trip, Wade is asked to experience a variety of hunting styles to include sitting over a water hole and feeding area in a permanent hunting hide to see what he might encounter. I'd say really middle of their fall right now, going into their winter leaves are starting to fall and uh, it's pretty pretty cold out here. We're gonna do targets of opportunity. Uh, hope come up on something big. I'm gonna grab the big 460. You know, I've been dreaming of kind of getting over here and hunting with it. I've got a Trigicon sight on it, so I should be able to acquire targets pretty fast in this thicker country. We're more in a mountainous area today. Everybody has a list, but I think it's better just to keep an open mind. And you, know, you can see the terrain here. It's got a lot more trees, a lot more diversity. You can actually see the, the you know, the leaves are starting to fall off these trees, so we should be able to see a little better as the day goes on. shoulder so I just as soon as I pulled the trigger I lost everything he's bleeding good see all the blood right up here on the, on the rocks got him got him up here Kevin. done oh, that's awesome check it out Impala high on my list I was able to take him with the performance center 460 that's oh. awesome. Good shot. Thank you, sir. Good shot. Thank you. Good job. Appreciate it. Done. Yeah, that's beautiful and Look at that. How pretty is that? <laughs> that's what we were looking for all day, Pat. After the shot inside a blind like that, that's why I'm wearing the hearing protection because it's going to echo in there, but I mean, you just kind of lose 
consciousness at that distance with all that dust and sitting down low, what's going on. But the end result, I don't know, he didn't go 50 yards. Thank y'all, appreciate it. <laughs>is and I plowed her front left shoulder it's like I thought this thing right here is it's a whole lot of fun and it is very very efficient now as we've mentioned earlier Steve's goal was a white tail doe and then a buck the next year if you've seen this hunt before, we enjoyed it so much we wanted to share it again as the buck he encounters on this hunt is the buck of a lifetime for many hunters. say this thing is yours, but this thing is mine. <laughs> oh my God, what a great shot, Steve. <laughs> you could talk for days about all the, the different things that are going on with his rack. Uh, the palmation and, and the blading of the, of the main beams and some of his, of his G2s and 3s. He's got a little like tip on one of the top of his tines that mushrooms out. It is just a cool deal. He's, he, he comes, I think, less than two inches from touching in the front. He just comes all the way around. It's just so cool. You, again, you could talk about it forever. You could sit there and stare at it forever, and I will stare at it literally forever. I mean, he's a deer of a lifetime. He really is. Up next, our own Americana Outdoors staff try handgun hunting for the first time. Stay tuned. The all-new Yamaha Wolverine X2. With a compact chassis, perfect for exploring tight technical terrain. An ultra quiet and smooth 850 class twin cylinder engine. And next level versatility with a 600 pound dumping cargo bed. No other side by side delivers this level of proven off road performance. The all new Wolverine X2 from Yamaha. Outdoors presented by Garmin has been brought to you by Yamaha's proven off-road ATV and side-by-side -side vehicles. Sawyer Products. Sawyer, we keep you outdoors. And by High Viz. See what you've been missing. Welcome back to Americana Outdoors. Handgun hunting has gained more popularity in recent years. It's more of a challenge in a way. You have to get closer to the animals and it requires more woodsmanship skills, like being able to read the wind and understand the animals. Now, as a cameraman, Americana Outdoors' Michael Worsig has frequently witnessed how exciting handgun hunting can be, but he's never done it before. So, he's doing exactly what he needs to do. Lots of shooting practices. 
You know, I'm hunting with the Smith & Wesson Performance Center 460. You know, I've never hunted with a handgun before. So that involved me going down to the range, and I mean, I spent a couple hours down there just trying to get comfortable with what I was gonna hunt with. And I mean, it's not the hardest thing to do, but it's definitely a challenge. We're going out this morning. It's an early season hunt. We've got a couple of deer still in velvet. We've got one particular deer we're going after. And to top it off, I'm hunting with a handgun. I've never done that before. And I am really excited to go out there. I, I mean, I've always wanted a velvet deer. Had one chance in the past, it didn't work out. So I got a second chance. We're going with the Performance Center 460. It's gonna be an awesome hunt. We had this one particular buck kind of on the edge of where these two draws come together. We set up a pop-up in the area. And I mean, they just kind of worked this area early in the morning. So we decided to go ahead and try for it. The good thing about the Smith & Wesson Performance Center 460, they don't go very far. Oh my gosh. First velvet buck ever. I mean, that is the coolest thing ever. He wasn't the easiest one. He was not the dominant buck, but he came in and he'd walk out and then he'd get behind a bunch of trees. It was kind of a excited and then you gotta wait. Excited, you gotta wait. And then finally he comes in and he stands broadside and I hit him a little high, but it worked out. I am so, I'm so excited. I mean, this thing, it is awesome. That was an amazing hunt. Is that not a beast? Coming up, Americana Outdoors' Jeff Reynolds doesn't want to be left out, so he grabs the Smith & Wesson Performance Center 460 and starts loading. Feed your need for speed. The Nitro XRT unleashes speeds up to 470 feet per second, producing 25% flatter aero trajectory, resulting in knock-breaking accuracy and unprecedented knockdown power. The world has never seen a crossbow this fast, accurate, and compact. The Nitro XRT from 10 Point. Americana Outdoors, presented by Garmin, has been brought to you by Stealth Cam Digital Scouting Cameras, proven. Angle Coolers, rugged, durable, high-performance marine coolers. And by Conquest Sense, hunting and dog training sense. Handgun hunting requires a significant amount of shooting practice in order to become and remain proficient. 
It's not uncommon for a skilled handgun hunter to be able to cleanly take game at ranges exceeding 100 yards with a single-shot scoped hunting pistol. Man, I'm pretty excited about this. This is my first time ever trying to hunt with a handgun. Uh, I've watched Wade, Tony do it, Michael's done it. And I've got to see it done a lot, but I've never really, I haven't got into shooting handguns. But I uh, got to come out to the range of Wade the other day and shoot three or four times, just kind of see what it was like. This gun I'm hunting with is, is a powerful weapon. It's a Smith & Wesson 460 Performance Center uh, pistol. I'm fixing to shoot a couple more times on the range with it. Just to be sure I'm confident, you know, I can, can make a good shot if, if the opportunity comes up. But we're going to get our stuff ready and take a couple shots here on the range and uh, go see if we can get it done. All right, you ready? One on the right. I'm feeling pretty good about that. That's about 30 yards. That's pretty cool. Let's fire one more down there, just to be sure, but I'm feeling good about that. Just a hair to the left, about an inch left. Sweet. Hopefully we can put this Wolverine X4 in good use. All right. There he is. <laughs> he didn't go 30 yards. Smith & Wesson Performance Center 460. Whew. Magnum. Can't forget the Magnum on there. I couldn't be more excited. This is definitely a thrill. He's kind of an eight deer. I mean, a six point, but a cool looking rack. That's the way his horns lean forward. Mature deer, definitely mature. He is rutted up, man. You can smell him right now. Thank you, Mr. Deer. I appreciate it, buddy. Well, that's it for Americana Outdoors this week. Hey, if you want to try handgun hunting, you'll need to start with a good and reliable handgun. Check out the full lineup of Performance Center's handguns at smith-wesson.com. And you can always find Smith & Wesson Performance Center handguns at basspro.com and Cabela's.com. And then finally he says, I'm on him. Pow! A shot. And you know how it is, an accomplished hunter likes to give him a warning shot. <laughs> I, I clean missed him. I guess I pulled it. I, I know I was nervous. I, I was probably shaking. Wow, I shot him again. Man, I hit him perfect that time. He went on the ground. He didn't go 30 yards in the brush. For precise prescription eyewear, Wiley X knows there's no room for error. We meticulously craft our own prescription lenses to fit our high wrap frames. And our ANSI safety rated lenses are tested to uncompromising standards. Nothing but precise.
Because precision is everything. Want to know why the top shooting pros choose HiViz? HiViz has an enormous lineup of sights for every shooting platform possible that are clean looking and easy to mount. Improve your shooting with faster target acquisition and eliminate cross-eyed dominance. HiViz sights are the brightest out there, helping you find your target with ease no matter the shooting conditions. Choose the best, choose HiViz, and see what you've been missing. We demand a lot from the products that we use on our adventures around the world. When it comes to keeping things seriously cold, we rely on Angle Coolers, who have for over 50 years kept things cold. Angle Coolers, the original high-performance cooler. What does it take to make Evercom deer scent? It takes a deer farmer who raises whitetails. It takes mixing the special blend of Evercom, testing each batch. Smells like deer. And then pouring each container. Each container is cleaned, examined, and packaged for shipping. It takes the finest deer herd and a great team of people to make the best hunting scent available. Evercom, from Conquest Scents. Nobody likes crawling, creepy, or flying bugs. So ward them off with Sawyer Permethrin. It's more than a repellent. This odorless spray repels and kills mosquitoes, ticks, and more than 55 other kinds of insects. Sawyer, we keep you outdoors. Many said that we were just obsessed when we started, that there had to be an easier way to smoke food. As time passed, the Bradley family created a lineup of Bradley electric smokers that has made it easier for the novice or even expert chef to get perfect results every time they use it. Grab yourself a Bradley smoker and take your cooking to an all new level. We plan all year for this. We hone our skills we have confidence in the gear we choose. We pour over thousands of images and videos. When the time comes, will you be ready? Introducing the all new 4K camera by Stealth Cam. Proven. Protect it or lose it. 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 Tired of forgetting to set a recording or missing the latest episode of your favorite outdoors show? Check out Outdoor Action today. Never miss a second of shows like Americana Outdoors, Cabela's Fisherman's Handbook, and Whitetail Diaries. All of this at the press of a button without a subscription fee required. Start watching your favorite shows when you want to watch them by going to OutdoorAction.com or through the Outdoor Action channel on any Roku device. <music>